I get you for that, and don't you forget it. Are you alright, children? Ah, the key! It is no longer in Mudflap's possession. Now everyone can be released from the cells! Thanks, little brave heroes. This key can be used to release the magicians and all those people kidnapped by the pirates. Too bad we couldn't save that pot. This door is called the Door of Light. Apparently, only the powerful light magicians are able to open it. Unfortunately, this is where our chase ends. This door has remained unopened, despite the efforts of the magician's master Kale has rounded up. Eventually, his efforts were ended. It is said that he chose to make a warping device of some sort. There's nothing left that we can do. Have we no choice but to give up? To think we had a wizard by whose power the door could be opened! What a miracle! Let our hurrying be resumed! <clears throat> Are you guys magicians too? Warriors ship out all the magicians to the light planet, minus that woman. But you can still make it to the final ceremony. Cozy up to Master Kale, and he'll take it to the light planet with him. The light planet? Yeah, Nova, the light planet? Cuh! What do they teach you kids these days, anyway? <laughs> Master Kale, I've brought another magician. Missed one, did we? You have done well, child. The pot. This is your magician. It created a barrier against evil in Ella. I figured it had to be a decent magician. What would you like to do, Master Kale? Pot will go worthless to me, no matter how gifted at magic they might be. Shattered to leave it behind. I don't care. But Master Kale! Hey! That's Sorbet! Hmm. I see that useless mud flap couldn't stop those friends of yours after all. What are you doing here? Thanks a lot. Well met, my little magicians. You saved me some trouble, I suppose. Although I'm sure that wasn't your plan. Regardless, we're done with our preparations. Why don't you join me on our trip? It will give us some time to get acquainted. You're that pirate. Among other things, yes. I am Master Kale's disciple. And I am also the leader of the Pirate Otter. I'm a man of many talents. 
You may call me Master Char. Look! Miss Mammaline is here too! Give her back to us! You've got no right! Quite wrong, child. I have the right to do whatever I have the power to do. Sorbet! Hold them here until Master Kale puts his magic into action. It is time to prove your loyalties, child. Do not disappoint your new master. Yo, Sorbet, what's up? What's there to think about? We're your friends. Be quick about it. If you are conflicted, then I'll tend to you along with these children. Leave her be, child. The spell is complete. And better now to round them all up and send them to Nova together. Stay close to me, all of you. Master Kale! <laughs> I was this close to saving Miss Madeline! Why did you guys have to show up now? Saving her? Dude, you were this close to feeding our backsides to Captain Ugly Pants back there. Want to explain to me how that would have done anything to save Miss Madeline? You just saw what Celadon's magic is capable of doing. He protected all of you. He could have deflected Master Kale's magic and given us the chance we needed to save Miss Madeline. What? So you kidnapped poor Celadon? And then you think you can just order him to put up a barrier on your command? Yeah, why would he even want to listen to you after what you'd done to him, Sorbet? Did you ever think of that? Obviously! I had already taken Celadon's behavioral pattern into account. What does that even mean, taken into account? You are so full of yourself. Does it look like things went according to plan now? Does it look like you took everything into account? Sheesh. The only reason there's a problem here is because I didn't take your behavioral pattern into account. Hey, Sorbet! Remember how you went off on your own back on Gren? Well, I want you to take a good look at Pico! See all those bruises? He got hurt because he was trying to protect you! You think you can handle everything on your own, but you can't! And look what happens to your friends because of it! Kids, are you all right? Hmm, is that girl? Never mind her. She's a little out of control, but she's still a friend of ours. She was just pretending to turn traitors to help take out the baddies, right? Goodness! Yeah, what he said! 
Affirmative, Amundo. Well, I'm just glad everyone's safe. However, we better get you all out of here before things get any worse. <laughs>